I mean, I'm a swallower. Yeah, but I do no. both. You if can. you continue, you spit it back on and carry on. Oh, that's real good. I never. Rio's gonna be at home right now moaning, that's but you never good. do that to me. Bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, <laughs> you do what? You do what? <laughs> I didn't know you Wait, did that. Please, if we do this clip, please put the girl in the hot. <laughs> you gotta give him that hot. Ooh, and spit on that thing. Yeah, yeah, you gotta do. You gotta do what she says. Yeah. You gotta hat to on that. Yeah. And yeah. And continue. And keep going. Or if you don't wanna get that dirty, you just give it a swallow and carry on. Yeah. But don't, you can't spit, you can't just walk out of the room and go spit in the bathroom like you've just killed the vibe. Yeah, yeah. You can't do you. that sort of spit. No, you can't. You've got to I mean, I remember in my younger years, I think when I first, you know, when you're young and you're kind of navigating all the different sexual pleasures and mm. things. I do remember kind of giving a guy a head and then just holding it in my mouth. Because <laughs> I, I, I just didn't know what for to do. For how long? I, I don't know. I, I just didn't know what to Did do. Did you just walk around like this for about an hour just, after? Yeah, you I went downstairs like... to say goodbye to his mum with his <laughs> cum in your mouth. <laughs> just like... Do mm. you? Yeah. Um, but I remember, yeah, just holding it because I, I didn't know. Because when I was young, I genuinely didn't know. I think sometimes... Did you we... think it could get you pregnant? If no. You swallowed it. I didn't think you that. You thought he was going to get pregnant. No, I didn't think that. What about, Although, um, one don't the, ever one, think one that that does common, not happen. Common things is depending on like what the guys eat and or consume. Oh, yeah, what it tastes like. like. Oh, yeah. Mm. The taste is of that true? Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. A guy's diet can definitely change. Yeah. But how I think it's taste. true for women as well, though, I think. Because yeah. I think there's some guys. They do, guys do say that about women's calm and their juices. It also depends on their diet. Well, I'm Greek and I eat a lot of garlic, and Rio says mine smells like garlic sometimes. So, <laughs> your one's probably it, fucking tastes it, like Red Bull. It smells, it smells like tzatziki. I'm a really, what can I say? I'm a really sugary person, and I've actually, so it's nice and sweet. Yeah, they do say mine's really sweet. My, mine's like garlic, and yours is sweet. <laughs> If you like it sweet, come to me. <laughs> if you like it girly, go to her. <laughs> yeah, no, it does depend on a guy's diet as to how it how tastes it and how it feels in your But mouth. it's hard because I feel bad for girls because you're never really going to know, really. Until you? it's in there. Yeah, you, you're not actually going to know until, until And then it could be it. too late if it makes you gag. Yeah, it was got... really, like, bitter. Ooh. Ooh. Your best tips for oral sex? All right, we have to do two because we've got like guys and girls, I think. And we've done both. Yeah, we have between done us both. both. Yeah, we've done both. So I think guys, what would you say tips are for guys? What for giving oral to a guy? Yeah, or for a guy to give oral. Let's go for like how, what we how we, what we would do to give oral to a guy. To a guy, sloppy, yeah, wet, yes, yeah, uh, has to be sloppy, it has to be wet, and you got to put a bit of a tongue in there, you know. I put sometimes a bit of a tongue in there. How? Because... <laughs> where you put, where, <laughs> you like, where are you putting ah, your tongue? How are you putting your tongue in there? I mean, what, you mean I like do. you do a little twirl with your tongue? Yeah, and because, like, you're going up and down, and then I just kind of, like, you know, just... You've got a tongue in there. <laughs> <laughs> what? You look like you're licking an ice cream. <laughs> yes! Yes! It is like, like that. Like you're licking an ice cream, right. Like okay. you're licking an ice cream. So you're going up and down and then just be like, oh, ice cream. Ooh, ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Little drip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, did you get that? <laughs> no, I do think, mm. I do think a, like a good tongue, like round the balls or the way up. Yeah, like, yeah. Get it all wet. Get yeah. It, and then just go in. Yeah. And I, I feel think, like you just got And just go tuck your it. teeth away. Yes. As much as you can. Tuck, tuck your teeth. teeth away. As much as you can. Unless the guy has already pre-told you they like a bit of teeth. Because there are some guys that don't that, Yeah, that but do I'd be like scared because I don't know how much a bit of teeth is or too much is. I've never... Because I, I don't that. have a penis, so I don't know how much that would hurt. <laughs> I don't So I'd rather not. I, yeah. I, and I if I catch you with my teeth, I'm going to apologise and I'll carry on and I'll tuck them back in. I'm sorry. So sorry. Although, as we're talking about teeth, I had a guy once nor... He literally, I feel like he gnawed on, on Ugh, his No, his teeth. why? Like, genuinely, I think he did. No. And I felt it and I was like... That's one the of the fuck? tips for oral with women. Don't use your teeth. Don't use your Please teeth. Please don't use your teeth. Don't use your teeth. What and, about, for, going back to the guy before you get to the girls, what about eye contact? Oh, yeah. I, I know, I know you have to. Yeah, you have but to. But you see the way I'm set up <laughs> with like my ADHD and everything else... <laughs> I'm not good with contact, eye contact on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> Don't want to give eye So contact. you are certainly not getting eye contact with me during sex, during like, oral. Look at me, look at me, look at me. <laughs> <laughs>
So eye contact is the one, but yeah. you're not getting that from me. I mean, I'm the same. Like, I can't... I will give a little bit of eye contact, but I feel like I need to be in the zone. Again, with... I don't know if most people like this, but sometimes you have to be in that zone, in that sexy zone, and you're like... And I have to yeah. close my eyes to be in that zone. Yes. Otherwise, if my eyes are open... I'm gonna think about other things. Yeah, and you're looking. So I close them, so you can't get eye contact. How They're can closed. you be given head and think about other things? That that's just and no, listen, you can, I can you do. Can, you can. You I can. I could have a whole orgasm whilst thinking about the washing that's still in the washing machine. Oh gosh. Mm. What about um, deep throat? I can't. Yeah. I yeah, can't. yeah. You can probably go. I deep need throat. to train myself. <coughs> yeah, you. I feel like. Yeah, you do. I feel like with the deep throat, you have to. I don't know how to explain it, but you have to kind of... Open let, your throat. Yeah, you, you have to open your throat and you have to, like, let go and relax. You have to kind of relax and just let it go it, You back. see, the way my gag reflex is set up. Yeah, you have to watch out for the gag reflex, 100%. Um, take it... I've never had this happen to me, but I do know there's probably girls out there. If you try and give a guy a blowjob and you've been drinking all night long at a club, Ooh. do not go in for a deep throat yeah. because... That's all coming back up. It's all coming back up because you can't control your gag through So if, if you can deep throat, definitely do it. If you yes. can't, like me, a tips and tricks. Again, comments, yes. let me know tips and tricks on how to learn to deep throat. Because I've got it in me somewhere I in here. Like got in I've you. got it in me. Yeah. I could do it. I just yeah. need to know how. I there's girls out there that love it. I don't like giving it. I just feel like there's a time and a place. I'm, I'm not a massive fan. I am in certain situations. But at the moment, I don't know why, all of a sudden now I've you know, plus 30, and I've all of a sudden... I quite like giving BJs in, like, public spaces. That when you know, you, like, the risk of getting caught. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ask me why, but I quite like the risk of giving a BJ. Where was the last place place? that you gave a risky BJ? At a festival. Was I at that festival? <laughs> <laughs> you wasn't. <laughs> I'll, I'll say nothing. <laughs> you actually wasn't at that festival. Although... It what are you lying for? <laughs> on to the next one then. Uh, on tips, to the next tips one. Tips for going down. You said not what not what not to do when they're down there. Like don't bite, obviously. Not, not Hannibal Lecter. But what should they do? What's use your hands your too. Oh yeah, use and your hands. In what uh, way though? Just even you haven't got to be direct. No, you don't have to be direct. Just touch around, like. And, you know, you can slide a finger or two in. Yes. I feel like you can touch around, slide a bit of a finger in, and then you need to be working the tongue on the clip. Yeah. Like, you no, 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 no. But you don't. Not too Work much, your though. way around it. I, don't go in straight away. You can't go in and go yeah. straight to the clip. No. It's too much. It's it too sensual. soon. Lick, lick all around. It's a, it's a hot, you've got loads down there to play with. <laughs> wow. Have a little taste of all of it. It's fine. And Get then... That labia. Yeah, and yeah, then go in. Labia. Slowly go in. Don't. Yeah. That, that's my tip: is do not go straight in, no. straight for the kill. Yeah, don't. It's too much, too soon. It's it feels irritating. Yeah, you need to kind of so. Also, it. as well, for guys, being us both females, obviously we're bisexual, so we've you know we've had our play sessions with females and mm. we've gone down on females. So I now know how it is for a guy in a sense. So when you're licking on the clear and you're kind of getting down low, believe me, there's a point. I can't quite put my, I can't quite, I don't know how to say it, but there is a point where you know you've hit the spot mm. and then you need to, don't don't work it too much. You just need to know that you've hit it and then and you stay get- stay at that pace. Stay at the pace and then go yeah. off it a bit and then you go back again yeah. and then go off it and then you go back and then you go yeah. and then you hit it. That's kind of how you need, that's how you have to do it. So yeah. follow the three course menu, don't go straight to dessert. Yeah, exactly. basically. Basically, yeah. You've got, you've got a whole meal down there. You don't need to go straight there. Do women like nipple play? I don't like it. But do you know what? Again, it depends on the woman. Mm -hmm. Some people have got, some women have got really sensitive nipples. I don't yes. have sensitive nipples, so for me, it's like an irritating tug. Like, why are you, <laughs> I'm not breastfeeding you. <laughs> Get off of my nipple. It's doing nothing. Grab my boobs, rough them up a bit, but... Don't do, don't, don't, what are you doing this for? Little, little, what are you doing this for? Do, do, do. No. Yeah. To be fair, for me, I actually don't mind a bit of nipple play. Um, at the very beginning, I think when I was younger, I was like super, super sensitive there. So it was great. Um, and then I just went for a period of time in my, my 20s that I just, I don't know, I just didn't really, it wasn't like my thing. I didn't really, yeah, it just really wasn't something that I was like, yeah, give me some nipple play. Um, however, now in my 30s, 
I'm like, oh yeah, I'm back on it. Yeah. And I'm like, oh yeah, give me that nipple pain. Like really like pinch on it and pull on it. Like I'm like, oh, that but you can't just do it on its own. Like you have to do it. Yeah, you, can, you can't just don't, stand don't, there like Yeah, me. yeah, don't just stand there because you... <laughs> what was it when you said as kids? Was it a Chinese bear? Yeah, like, was it? Nipple, nipple cripple. Yeah, nipple cripple. <laughs> yeah. Don't no. just fucking nipple cripple me out of nowhere. Um, no, a bit added into the play, yeah, you've I got think. To, you've got to do a bit of it, so you've got to be like... I think you've got to know the girl to know whether she likes it or not. So I yeah. think maybe sort of test the waters, be a bit gentle at first, see what reaction you get. Yeah. You get and a then... good one, continue. Like me, you'd get... A, I'd slap your hand away, then you might as well not bother. Yeah. I do know there's a guy once that I played with and he really loves and nipple play. And he can play. orgasm through nipple play, yes, can't he? Yes, I know who you're talking about. Yes, yes. And Had a I was, literally, I was, it was such a different, such a mm. new experience for me because I, I'd never, like, met a, another, like, an, a guy no. that loved it and was, like, no, generally their sensation, they just loved it. It just goes to show how everyone's different. Yeah. Everyone is different, and I was men here and women. For it. Yeah, generally, I was here for it. I was like, well, tell me what to do, tell me what to do. How do you like it? Like, Harder, softer? Yeah, 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 how do you like it? Um, so, yeah, generally, men, women. Everyone's different. Everyone loves a bit of nipple play. <laughs> you just summarise. Except me. What does it feel like to have an orgasm? Imagine you have all this built-up tension, and, and all then all of a sudden... Gushes out at once. You just can release it. Yeah. That's kind of like... And some what people's like. orgasms last really, really long. Yes. And sometimes you can have a super quick, short one. Yeah. Sometimes you can drag it out a bit. But it's... And it's not... The thing is, you, you can have sex without having an orgasm and oh, the yeah. sex still be amazing. Yeah. So for those people that don't orgasm, can't orgasm, that want to, that it's not the be all and end no. all of having sex. No, I, I wouldn't You say. don't have to orgasm every time you have sex. No, you don't have to. I you, mean, do as a woman... Better, do you have better orgasms through penetration or oral? Either, both, either. Oral. I, I, yeah, really? I mean, yeah. Is it? Oral or, you know, my trusted oh, friend, the both. one. Oh, the one that comes everywhere with me. The one that keeps <laughs> on giving. <laughs> Let me tell you, listen, we're going to have a whole different segment for toys because... That's just a whole different experience for a female, let me tell you. But, yeah, the, the orgasms and the sensations that you get from a toy versus an actual man is, woof, can't be it. I don't know why we even bother having I men. don't know why we, we bother. We don't need them. I don't know why. We don't need them. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I feel like having... There's, with the orgasms, the oral versus penetration, It uh, to me, it just depends, like... And it, I think it depends what mood you're in as yeah, well. Yeah, I do. Because so, do you know what? Sometimes, even with like, you know, when you're like in a sexy, horny mood, sometimes I generally don't want penetration. Mm. I just want oral. Yeah. And I generally just want my orgasm through. And that oral. release is mad. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And then there's other times when I'm like, no, I don't want to have an orgasm oral. Like, I need, I want the penetration. Yeah. Like, I want to have an orgasm through penetration. But then I normally do that. And then after I want the, the, the oral as well. Oh, so then you do, pen yeah, and then, yeah. yeah. Pretty, but then I'm, We'll take it all, we'll have it all. Okay, we will have it all. Ooh. But then I'm also the type of person, I can't have, I struggle to have multiple orgasms. Um, so what do you say, free penetration? Either, either penetration uh. or oral. Like, so I'm what people would say, an uh, edger. I'd love to edge. <gasps> <laughs> God, me and you would not be compatible sexually because I can't think no. of anything worse. If somebody tried to edge me, I would punch them. For people that don't know at home, edging is basically... Hell. <laughs> no, it's not hell. <laughs> it is the, you, the sexual um, sensation that you get from either oral sex or penetration and you get very, very close to having an orgasm, but you don't and then you orgasm. Stop. You basically stop yourself from orgasm. You get all the way there orgasm. till you're you're nearly at the tip of the mountain, and then you throw yourself back down again. And then you've got to try and get back up there again. And trying to get back up there again after you've yeah. just done that is not easy. <laughs> so it's not fun. Whereas that's what for me, I I, I I love it. I genuinely do love it. And there's a lot of females out there that do. Mm. Or, and also, what you find out is a lot of men also edge, um, particularly um, men that like to go to swinging parties or want to so have people, like I a don't think they have a choice. sex session. No, it's true. They, they I don't think they don't. do it out of choice. When we're at a party or we're at a meet... Yeah, they've got to keep going. They know they've got to keep continue and there's multiple girls. They don't have no choice. You, yeah. ca you can't afford 
to orgasm and come right now because there's three other girls waiting. Yeah, yeah, you've got to keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, so yeah, I think I although you know I, although I'm saying that I I love to edge, and I haven't had multiple orgasms. I it's not like I haven't. I have, but it's very yeah, I, very rare. Sorry. So I feel like I've only maybe done it once or twice in my life. Other than that, I'm just like here for the. Here for the oh, we're so the complete so opposite. The, the complete opposite. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, what's wrong with you? 